A Utah man who worked at World Trade One moved from New York shortly before the September 11th attacks. Fox 13's Aaron Cox shows how he is helping students at a Utah school join those in the Islamic community in remembrance. Allah. Friday is a day of prayer. And in today's congregation sits a group of students from a private school in Utah County. We wanted our students to be able to come and connect here and feel um, a part of this Muslim community because we're all connected. Grant Beckwith is the head of the American Heritage School, but before his time in Utah, Grant had worked at the World Trade Center in World Trade One. This World Trade Center One and Two. Grant had moved from New York to D.C. in the summer of 2001. It was a very uh, poignant and personal experience for me to watch those buildings coming down, thinking of my own friends and colleagues who were there. Grant remembers mourning with his Muslim friends and family. 20 years later, it's still a difficult time to be a Muslim in America. That's what brought Grant and a group of his students to prayer on Friday. As I came in, you hear the call to prayer. And that was one of my favorite parts is you hear a voice just singing that's like, calling everyone in because it's the time to pray. Whether you're sitting in pews or you're kneeling on the ground, then we're all worshiping the same God and that we should be able to respect other people for the ways that they worship and who they ch and how they choose to worship. It's really interesting to watch uh, their eyes and their body language. Aves Ahmed hopes to show students the beauty of his religion. All right, let's show them our rich garden, our rich tradition. Instead of saying, hey, we're not about this, let's actually go ahead and show people what we're about. We need to take advantage of some of these tragedies in our history to turn them into beauty. In West Valley City, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah. Both Ahmed and Beckwith told Aaron they hope to have larger groups of students meet those within the Islamic community. There are 60,000 Muslims here in the Beehive State. Join Fox 13 News for live coverage of 9-11 Remembrance Ceremonies tomorrow morning beginning at 620. Good Day Utah will follow at 8 and will feature a local ceremony in Park City.